The Department of Home Affairs have been uh, hard at work training and certifying uh, amongst the Muslim community uh, Muslim Imams who conduct uh, religious marriages. We have been training and certifying them as marriage officers in terms of the Marriage Act and uh, we were very pleased to be able to run the training program here in Port Elizabeth uh, where all of the Imams who are here today have attended the training session then written uh, an exam and I believe that all of you would have received uh, over 80 percent which is the pass rate uh, and Alhamdulillah that allows us uh, to be here on this happy occasion to actually hand over the certifications for each of you uh, who are now designated marriage officers. This initiative comes from the uh, office of the Deputy Minister in the sense that we've never really had to deal with Imams before. Um, there's been a long-standing relationship between uh, the Christian churches and other religious bodies, but uh, not with the uh, Muslim community. And um, so really the project was uh, projectized as, as, as it were in the office of the Deputy Minister. The point of, of having you certified as marriage officers isn't uh, accomplished now as we hand over the certificates. It is accomplished when you conduct those marriage ceremonies, which then become legally recognized and have got legal status in partnership with all of you here today. We embark on a first step in a journey uh, towards changing the culture uh, in the uh, Muslim community, uh, towards understanding that the ultimate goal is to ensure equity, some sense of justice prevails in these unions. Marriage is a foundation of a family that you hope to build. And if that foundation is shaky, well then whatever you build is going to be built on something that uh, will not last. And uh, our role, as far as the department is concerned, is to facilitate uh, your certification as recognized marriage officers. Mm -hmm.